Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Dockage on Ubuntu. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So Dockage is a fancy, easy to use and reactive self-hosted uh, Docker composed YAML stack oriented uh, manager. And um, it's trying to be a lightweight version of Portainer it looks like. And it has stacks over here then you're editing it, it looks almost like uptime kuma because it's made by the same person um it's got co quite a few features and this is the ui and then um there's some screenshots of it and jellyfin and then the console and then here's the container editing so it's pretty neat so now I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to uh, scroll down to install or update Dockage right here. And then I'm going to go into run.sh. So it's going to check if the script is run as root. And then it's going to check if a Docker CE 20 plus, uh, 20 plus is installed. And then it's going to put a, a save it in the, the variable. And then it's also going to check if podman is installed. It's going to save in the variable. And then uh, check if either a Docker CE or podman is installed and give the user the option to install if not. So, so it's going to give the user, if these aren't installed, to, uh, to say a yes or no on wanting to install Docker. And if the user uh, d d does say no, then it's going to also give the user an option to install podman as a and else and then y or n and then um if if for some reason the user doesn't install any of them then it's going to say please install docker ce or podman manually to proceed and it's going to exit so it's going to check if dockage is installed by the opt uh, dockage right here and then if it is uh, uh installed it's going to say Dockage is already installed. Do you want to update it? And then it's going to go through the steps of updating it if the user does want to update it and with the Y, and, uh, which that means yes. And then it's going to say Dockage has been updated. It's going to pull it and then a Docker impose. If, do if Dockage is not installed or updated, we're going to continue with the installation. So it's going to set some default values. So stacks, directories, opt, stacks. The port is 5001, create directories, so, so we're going to make sure that uh, these directories are, are created, uh, uh, that this directory up here is created. So um, it's going to um, uh, do the dockage directory right here, which is right here, check if dockage is installed, and then it's also going to check if directories uh, for the stacks directory right here. And then it's going to download the Docker uh, Compose from this, the raw, right here. And uh, then it's going to say Dockage uh, Directory right here, and then Compose.yaml. And then now we're going to start a Dockage uh, based on the installed run, uh, container runtime. So if Docker is installed, it's going to start it with Docker Compose. And then if Podman is installed, it's going to start it with, po with Podman. And then if for some reason these both fail and it's not installed, which it should have been installed up here, then um, a neither Do Do Docker CE nor Podman is installed and cannot proceed. So uh, then it's gonna go, go down here and get the LAN uh, IP from the, the host name. And then it's gonna say Dockage is now running on LAN IP and then the port. So. That's a little bit how the script works. So I'm gonna go backwards into how to use right here. I'm gonna uh, copy this. So now I'm SSH into my Ubuntu server. So I'm going to paste in the script. So I'm gonna run it, or so return or enter. 
And then now it's going to say neither Docker CE nor Podman is installed. Do you want to install Docker CE? So I'm going to press Y is for yes and return or enter. Now it's going to install Docker. And this could take a little bit. So now it's installed Docker and now it's going to install Dockage down here. It's pulling the conta container and then starting up a Docker Compose. So now you can see that Dockage is now running at this right here. So you can co copy this and then you can go into your, uh, your browser and uh, see the UI. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now you're going to paste in the URL that we, co we copied. So I'm going to run it by return or enter. I'm going to it in your browser. So now I'm going to put a username in. And then you would need to put your own username and password in. And you would need to remember it. And okay, now um, we're in, so you can compose a stack over here. You can see the active, the exited, and the inactive. You can also convert a docker run a command into a, comp a compose. You can go up here to the console and be inside your op stacks. Then you can go over here, you can scan the stacks folder. You can also go in the settings and you can change the primary host name. You can go in appearance and you can change the language. You can go into security and you can change your password and disable auth. You can see the about section of what version you're using. You can go over here to compose and you, you can see that you can deploy, save, you can also see that the Docker composes over here for Nginx right here. So you could go down here and you could uh, add another container to this Docker compose like caddy. And then um, latest. And then now you can see over here that it added it to it. So you can go in here and you can um, pick the image that you want. So you can see that uh, the image is now a caddy. And then um, you can go ahead, ahead and add ports, uh, volumes, environment variables, the networks, container dependencies. And um, you can also delete this one and you can add a new one. So you can go ahead and just, you know, just keep on adding containers to this Docker Compose until you uh, like it. So you can go ahead and do this, caddy. And then... Um, a latest and then now you can see that you can edit the Nginx 2 so you can go ahead and add a port so you can do um, 80 81 and then 80 and then now you can see the port has been added so uh, this is a pretty neat way to uh, to structure your docker and pose you can go up here to stacks and you can na na name the stack. And then once you're good with this, you can deploy. Then that, now it's going to uh, download the uh, uh, Nginx and the Caddy uh, Docker container. So now we both have them up and you can see the logs down here, the, the, uh, the terminal of what it's doing. You can also go up here to edit again. You can restart update stop and then you can stop and down you can also delete so you can see your docker compose over here you can go into bash by like into the con container so we can go backwards and you can go into the container of the cat of the caddy 
So um, you can also um, go to these. So, so 8080, you can go to it and you can see the Nginx. And then that, now you can see Caddy. So they're both working. And now you can see all your stacks once you have them over here, over on the left. So, and you can see now one active. So it's a pretty neat uh, UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Dockage running on Ubuntu with Big Bear Scripts. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.